This is, this is what frustrates me so much. No matter how simple you make an explanation, you get comments like this, which are just wrong. Why can't people just accept the fact that white light is all colors and black is the absence of color, whether you're working with paints or you're working with lights? Well, the truth is you're always working with lights because that's what color is. Color is the light that reaches your eyes. It's how your eyes take it and your brains interpret it. Starting with a white canvas and painting on it is not adding color to the white. I don't understand why people think this. First of all, most of the time you have a white canvas and when you paint, you're not changing the color of the canvas. Most of the time the paint is over the white canvas. So even if I had a black canvas and I put black, red paint on there, I'm not changing the color of the canvas unless you have some sort of translucent paint. So in which case you have light going through the paint and it's filtering out whatever colors that are not part of that paint, hitting the white and coming back out. So again, if you put some sort of translucent red paint on a white canvas, the light will go through that paint, subtracting out, it will absorb all colors but the red, it will hit the white, which will then reflect back any color that made it through, in this case red, and it will go back through that filter. Shouldn't really be subtracting anything because it should have subtracted everything the first time in a perfect world. And it comes back out and you hit the red. You are subtracting color. If you're putting red paint on a canvas that doesn't go through, you're not subtracting anything from the, the canvas, you're painting over the canvas and you've started off with a white paint that has pigments in it that subtract out everything but that red. It's now hitting it, and instead of going through it and being filtered, it's bouncing off. It's absorbing the blue and the green, and the red is bouncing back. Never, ever, ever in any situation is black the presence of all colors. I explained this in a previous video, the video that I'm talking about. I'm not going as into as much detail here because it's just frustrating. When you add paints together, you are subtracting colors. That's why it gets darker. Again, if you take a white light, we're, we're talking about additive and subtractive, but the color that the light that hits your eyes is the color, whether you're adding them together or subtracting them. So, for example, if I have three lights, they're all white, and I put a filter on each one, a red one, a blue one, and a green one. One on each, a red one on this one, a blue one on this one, and a green one on this one, and I project all those lights at one spot. In a perfect world, we're going to get white. You're not going to get black. There's no such thing as black light. I know we have black lights. Those are UV lights. They aren't really black. But you have those three lights. If you project a red light, a green light, and a blue light all at one spot, you're going to get white. The, around the edge, it's going to be kind of like a rainbow color because they're not perfectly positioned together. If I take one light and I put a red filter in front of it, you're going to get a red light. If I put a green, it's going to get darker and I'm going to put a, a blue. You're now getting no light through that because you've subtracted all color and now it's dark. And that is what black is. This is so simple. But I still get comments like this. In no way does that make any sense. It doesn't matter whether you're working with pigments, color is what's hitting your eye. Whether it's filtering it going through or absorbing it as it's bouncing off, what hits your eyes is the color. Another common thing I get is people going, oh well, if it's red and white light hits it and it's absorbing the green and blue, then isn't it really green and blue, not red? No, it's the light that bounces off of it is what the color is. It hits your eyes. That's what color is. Color exists, it's a concept of what your eyes and your brain interpret light waves as. If you subtract away all the, the if you have black, there are no uh, true black, you have no light waves coming to your eyes. And so therefore, no color is coming to your eyes. This is why when you wear a black shirt or you have asphalt outside, it gets hotter than white stuff because it's absorbing that light and not reflecting it. So if you have a black shirt on, it's absorbing all those colors, all that light energy, and it gets hotter. Where white, most of it is bouncing off as color. I don't know why this is so hard for people to understand.